about the level of energy you had coming out in the first quarter of this one? Well, you got to understand, this is the playoffs. Uh, we're at home. We must come out and maintain a certain level of intensity. And uh, it's my job as a point guard to set the tone for us. Um, I do my job out front. The white does his uh, behind me. And so uh, with that said, we just have to continue to play with a sense of urgency on both ends of the floor. Dwight, how frustrating was it just to, to battle through the fouls, especially after the more minutes they gave you tonight? It was a little frustrating. Um, but my biggest thing was when I'm out there on the floor, just play as hard as I can despite the fouls. And, and not allow that to, to take me out of the game. Uh, I'm going to get called for some, some fouls sometimes, and uh, just got to play through it. Uh, continue to block shots, continue to run the floor, continue to uh, control the paint. Jet, what was it like going up against the Mavericks again after all these years? How did it feel? Uh, regardless of who the opponent is, uh, it's the same all half for me. You know, this is my time of year. Uh, you, you play 82 games to get to this point. You know, it doesn't matter who the opponent is. It just so happens to be the Mavericks. I know that team very well. They know us uh, just as well. And it's a rivalry, but at the same time, uh, we, we got a job to do. And we understand that. Tonight was the first part of it. Now we must continue to do the same thing we did uh, and correct some things uh, in game two. Jet, this question is about another former Maverick. Can you talk about how big the threes were for Corey in the fourth quarter when they kept trying to claw back in? Well, I had to just keep encouraging Corey uh, to, you know, stay focused and, and stay aggressive, stay on the attack. But he's our energy guy. He's the guy off the bench. He reminds me of myself. Um, he, he comes in, he provides instant energy. But like I told him, if you're not scoring, do it on the defensive end. Uh, and, and once he did that, I mean, he hit a couple big shots. I've seen Corey go for 15, 20 points in a quarter easy. Uh, he's had a 50-point game in his career. So uh, he just had to refocus. Uh, he made some big, big plays in that fourth quarter. Dwight, what was it like watching the Capella from his first playoff team? I was happy for the young fella. Um, he went out there, got a couple dunks, a couple blocks, and his energy was great. You know, I could tell uh, he was a little tired after a couple plays. Uh, he had one uh, dug down the lane where he was just gassed. Uh, but, you know, uh, after the game, I just told him to continue to play with higher energy. And, uh, you know, I was proud of him. Dwight, how important was it for you guys to start off in the playoffs big in the first quarter, like with that kind of energy kind of starting the second season? And then secondly, what do you guys have to do to kind of maintain that? Well, I think it's very important that we set the tone early. And uh, like Jess said, you know, he's a point guard. It starts with him up top. And it's my job to finish and complete all the plays, you know, in the paint. And uh, for myself, you know, I just try to bring as much energy as I can on the defensive end and then get out and run and get some easy points in transition. But... Uh, me, and Bet, me and Jet are the two best on the team, and it's our job to come out you know, and uh, play with a lot of energy. And uh, for us to win this series, it starts with us. Dwight, having played one game in this series, can you kind of look ahead and forecast and characterize what type of series you think this will be moving forward? Uh, well, it's the first game. Uh, I think if we hit first, you know, we'll have a great opportunity to win. Uh, they're a well-coached team. You know, so uh, uh, they're going to come back with different schemes to try to throw us off. And the main thing is if we come out, you know, hit them first, you know, get to, uh, jump on them early, uh, we should win. Is that it? Oh, one, more. one more question. How important is it that you guys had so much balance offensively? Um, you were able to, and I, maybe the season you guys have had with the injuries and everybody getting playing time, talk about just that and what that means long, long term. Oh, well, uh, to win in the playoffs, you know, you got to, Everybody has to, to step up and play big. And uh, when you have a, a balanced scoring attack, you know, it makes it hard for teams to, to want to double or you know, try to you know, stop one or two guys. We've got a lot of guys on our team who can really score. Um, but offense is not going to be the problem for this team. You know, uh, we have to really step up our defense. You know? uh, it starts with Jet up top, and then uh, the fours and fives have to complete the plays. You know? So the defense is where we're going to win this, this series. Thank you.